that that's what's up with our own DJ Residential DJ. That's what we're doing right here. And we're having some good music courtesy of him. So make sure if you have any requests, they shall come through. Our handles is as simple as Y254 channel. You can get us on our YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Insta. Instagram. So make sure they come through because we are here because of you. And we're just about season premiere. So make sure you stay locked because some good stuff are coming your way. Yes, uh, on the season premiere of Hip Hop Thursday, so we are going to start with something a little bit light. Uh, so this month in history, of hip hop before we can give you a taste of hip hop in courtesy of Michelle Washera. I go by the name of Bai Mosses so or it's Bai Mon every social media platform and we are joined by the DJ himself. I'd like him to say a few words man. Uh, people are enjoying the mixes. Uh, shout out to you playing Kenyan music as well. Uh, so yeah talk to you. See representing Kenyan. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's all I can say. Yeah, social media <laughs> across all platforms uh -huh. at Rajis the DJ. Raj is the DJ yeah. on all social media platforms. Uh, just send your request. It requests his way on White 54 channel on Twitter, White 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White 54 on Facebook. Or you can hit me up directly at It's By More or Michelle Ashira. This month in history, Michelle. Yeah, so a lot has happened uh, during this month of January. Back in, when you look into down memory lane and we have dj quick who has been into the industry for more than two decades so that's approximately two millennials kind of age and he has been doing well in his field and he released his studio album in 1991 the same month in january Yep. So this was uh, quite a revolution for hip hop. Exactly, and it also uh, impacted uh, the New York modern uh, hip hop sound. All right, so yes. DJ Quick is somewhere from. Uh, uh, let me see. Let me <laughs> see. I think I had it. Okay. Somewhere. It's from New York. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, he revolution has the sound in uh, the New York hip hop, and is uh, said to have interacted with the likes of Nas and the rest of them. Exactly. The of hip hop music in in the East. Yeah, and when mm -hmm. he started off, he started doing gangster vibe kind of hip hop and mm -hmm. raps. So that's where it it all starts from there. All right. right. And we're so, coming uh, back to the modern his sound. name is derived from the fact that he can produce records quite quick. Oh, that's an yes. interesting fact. That's true. All right. Uh, so if you'd like to know more about DJ Quick and his uh, influence in the hip hop uh, culture, head straight to your Google or YouTube. So or there he is, oh, our oh, DJ there, Quick. There we have DJ Quick himself. Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, this is a recent picture, I can tell. Because mm -hmm. uh, by the time DJ Quick was starting, I don't think they had PlayStations. You can no, see a PlayStation really. in the background. He's from way back <laughs> way. Back. So this must be a recent picture. Mm -hmm. But on to our next story now. Yes, so on to our next story. That is Aliyah's birthday. It, it was yesterday. Yeah, Aliyah's celebrating birthday was 40 yesterday. years of age mm -hmm. into the music scene. Late Aliyah, she died uh, on a pl plane crash. Mm -hmm. That It was on August 25th. So, yeah. People are celebrating her music. People are and still celebrating her. Aaliyah's music through yes. her birthday and through her death day. Uh, but Aaliyah, some people might say Aaliyah is, a, is an R&B singer. Yeah, but that's But she true. had a lot of influence in the hip-hop uh, culture or the hip-hop industry. Because uh, uh, it is said she dated the like, she dated Jay-Z. Oh, yes, that's uh, true. And then there's, a, there's a lots of websites mm -hmm. and also bloggers they're talking about this day. Mm -hmm. And as you said, she really did have an impact into the hip hop industry. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we have to celebrate her either mm -hmm. way. And her music is lovely. So mm -hmm. why not? Songs with Jay Z and the rest of them, the rest of them big rappers that you know about. So if you'd like to know more about that, Leah, and her birthday, or if you are a fan, we might dedicate one song uh, from Leah uh, today on Hip Hop Thursday. And there just it for is, you. our beautiful mm -hmm. Leah on our screen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so on to our last um, down memory lane. We are looking at Gangster releasing their studio album set, Step. Step into the arena. It happened during this month, the same year time frame, which is in 1991. Cutie of DJ Premier, and remember, this is season premiere of Hip Hop Thursday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So DJ Premier, and this is the uh, the premier of Hip Hop Thursday. I see what you did there. <laughs> I, I like it. Uh, so DJ Premier is still alive. He's still working with the likes of. Uh, I've seen him work with the likes of Joey Badass and also uh, Quavo and Quavo yes. as well. I never expected it uh -huh. uh, for him to work with Quavo, but. 
uh, it is what it is. Hip hop yes. is, is, is in hip hop. You expect nothing but greatness, and uh, anything can happen. And evolution, evolution, evolution. So this is about that time that we introduce uh, that particular segment brought to you mm -hmm. by Michelle Ashira. So she's the best person to introduce oh, this. Oh, thank you. No, because I, I was part of this uh, putting together the hip hoping. I think it's your turn to introduce <laughs> right. this so that people I'll back at home this. can. I'll take this. All right. So hip hoping is a segment for you where you get to know what's trending in hip hop, uh, what's stopping chats, and what's uh, in the blogs about or around hip-hop so this is the premiere of hip hop in get a taste then we'll be back with some interviews on hip-hop thursday on why in the morning don't touch that down Kush Tracy, whose real name is Terry. Thank you, Barry. Starting us off is our own rapper Kush Tracy, whose real name is Teresi Andoti Wambua, is now born again. Kush Tracy gave her life to Christ on Sunday at Mavuno Church. The rapper posted on her Instagram account the reason to her transition being she struggled with her inner spirit while doing secular music over the past years. Gospel artists welcomed her with love and fans are waiting to see what Tracy got in store for them in this new journey. Money. The hashtag 10 year challenge has been going around the social media from broadcasters, comic entertainers and the acts from the hip hop music scene participating. Some of the pictures are beyond hilarious from the likes of Calligraph Jones, MC Sharon to Wangeshi, Kush Tracy and Femi One just to mention a few. If you're trying to read my thoughts you probably guessed right. Before 10 year challenge we were or should I say still are on hashtag play Kenyan music. Kenyans created a are supporting their own on social media and with the likes of Calligraph Jones they took it notch higher by controlling a playlist for a radio station playing sounds from way back to modern sound. And what's popping on international news is that Chance the Rapper has pulled out his collaboration with R. Kelly known as Somewhere in Paradise from streaming services such as Apple Music Spotify and SoundCloud but still remains on YouTube. Lady Gaga vowed to remove a song known as Do What You Want With My Body Do wet with the artist and Celine Dion followed that her team removed I am your angel collabo with R. Kelly. On the other hand, can you West comment His music, shedding no views on the controversy facing the artist during the Sunday service performance. He was clear to say that we can still enjoy the artist's music. I guess Kanye West is all about separating the art from the person. Speaking about art and how it pays off, three-time Grammy winner Drake has reportedly joined the likes of pop divas Jennifer Lopez, Maria Carey, Lady Gaga by scoring over $10 million for his very own Las Vegas residency. The 32-year-old Old Canadian crooner signed a multi-year deal to perform a minimal 10 shows at the Wine Las Vegas. He chose XS due to its high exposure and ability to consistently bring in the biggest crowd. Meanwhile, National College football champions Clemson Tigers headed over to the White House for dinner with Donald Trump. Instead of offering the players and their guests some sort of fine dining, Donald Trump came through with a massive fast food buffet that included McDonald's, Burger King, Dominion's and Wendy's due to the ongoing government shutdown down. Many felt like the players deserved better than just a few burgers from McDonald's and other fast food joints. Quavo is among the many that felt the champs weren't treated as they should have been and offered to show the Clemson Tigers how they should have been treated. The Migos rapper took to Twitter to invite the players to a nice homemade meal, making it all clear that I want to show Clemson Tigers and Porters how champs are supposed to be treated. You're welcome to come by the QC headquarters anytime. That's all we got for you this Thursday. Day. Thank you for watching. I'm Michelle Ashira. So there it is. Our own rapper, Kush J.C., is mm -hmm. saved. Uh -huh. I didn't see that coming. That was a surprise. So it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I was like, is this really true? Uh -huh. And also my producer mentioned it, so I mm -hmm. didn't believe him. So I You never know when you're going to find the light. Yes. Uh, but I know there's there is going to be debates uh, uh, 
around this particular topic, people are going to ask, is Kush Tracy a hip hop artist? Is she a rapper or not? Yeah, yes, we, we are not here to define that. <laughs> we, are not de we are not here to define that. Yeah. Uh, we believe she's a rapper and uh, she has been uh, finding a way through the music industry through rap. I've never heard a thing. Uh, okay. So I'm looking forward to what she's going to be doing next. If I'm she's going to be rapping for Jesus we Christ. Like we are way looking forward to see what Kush mm -hmm. Tracy has in this new journey of ours. All right. Yes. Uh, uh, my favorite story is the last one. Okay, of where course. Where Quavo is talking to the president. Okay. Uh, president, the president does not know how to treat champions. Y yes. Mm -hmm. So the champions won, mm -hmm. and uh, as the president, you, it's your delegate, or rather, you feel the responsibility of appreciating them. Mm -hmm. And what Donald Trump did is he got fast food. Mm -hmm. And uh, remember that US is facing the mm -hmm. government shutdown. Alinda San for their state. Exactly. Uh -huh. So Kovu was like, yo, Donald Trump, you know, uh -huh. we are coming to White House and all you have for us is fast food. We could uh -huh. have got it fast but food. But that was really home. shady of, of the But I feel the like uh, when you look at the, his agenda or his uh, reasons, mm -hmm. He had good intentions, yeah. Uh -huh. Donald I don't Trump, know. Exactly, there's nothing like can, good intentions. You can expect anything no, from no, Donald no. Trump. There's nothing like let good intentions. Let our did you know? What do you suggest about that? What do you that? think about? Yes. Let's say the president invites Akina Kimboi <laughs> to State House. I love how Alete food is sent food. Actually, Trump and KFC. could have done better. Yeah, yeah. You nika one day State House let we chipo mi tu pale. Seriously. So you guys huh? are going up with me. Uh, yes. We all team Quavo. I think, I think uh, Quavo will invite her in the quality, quality control headquarters. Uh, mm -hmm. That is the headquarters for their label. Uh, or, or Trump a fundisho could treat champions. I think Quavo should do that. I think those people should accept the invite. I still love mm -hmm. fast food though. Uh, team fast food. <laughs> fries. Team fast food. Yeah. Uh, but another story that uh, got my attention is the R. Kelly story. Oh, okay. uh, where people are regretting working with their kids. Yes, and uh -huh. uh, another aspect on another angle, Kanye uh -huh. West was all about, we can, forg we can separate or rather do not connect uh, the artist with uh -huh. his art. Uh -huh. And we can just, you know, appreciate, we can still listen to his music, I know but Kanye not West look into Arcadia and all that. It's the same situation with Michael Jackson and, and the backlash. It had to but be I Kanye feel West it's, it's, all, it's not easy to mm -hmm. not forget what he's uh, being accused of mm -hmm. and all the allegations, over 50 women. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's very hard to separate the two, the uh -huh. art and, As a woman. and an artist. Yes. Tell us what you think about this White Fire 4 channel on Twitter. Y254 underscore channel on Instagram and Y254 on Facebook. Hashtag is Y in the morning. Hip Hop Thursday is the other hashtag. Uh, mm -hmm. Then maybe you can touch on one more story before we can lead into the music. One People more love story. music. Mm -hmm. We love music, definitely. So mm -hmm. we have to do this real quick. Uh -huh. uh, I'll go with the hashtag 10 year challenge, though mm -hmm. I didn't post my 10 year mm -hmm. challenge because uh, I was still very young. You were still very young. <laughs> You're a 90s baby. <laughs> so, yes, so 10 years little. challenge. Uh -huh. 10 years challenge, I uh, was there and I loved the calligraph challenge mm -hmm. because. Did you participate, yeah. DJ Rajus? Bado. Bado. Kwanini yeah. uja participate. Uh, Kila mtu alone, kuna I'm not alone. Oh, uliko wa young kwa Michelle. Yes. All right. Uh, watu wengi wame kataku participate, but there's something that is arising, yeah? Mm -hmm. Kuna watu wengine wana participate kwa three year challenge, manzi. Unawana picha kia 10 years, wana sema, ah, Buddha. Yeah, three years. Uh, I like, aneka hashtag 10 year oh, challenge, okay. but the pictures do not tell the 10 year story. What, what are the pictures Because they are scared of posting that 10 year ago picture. Oh, you see? Yeah. So they'll post a picture maybe so for five faking years it. and then faking it out here. So we. But we're we not surprised. You. Social media is full of that, you know. <laughs> social media is full of fake. Yes. Anyway. I'm talking of social media. Uh -huh. You can follow us at Michelle Ashira at Y254 channel. Mm -hmm. And I go by the name of Barry Moses or It's Barry Money with social media. Raj is the DJ. All right. Yes. So DJ Raj is take it away. Then we'll be back with some more interviews on Hip Hop Thursday. Then some flavor towards the end of the show. Thank <laughs> you.